I may want to control the number of digits that print in a number. Um, so there are two commands that get used together. Um, the first is to tell uh, the computer that I want the decimal place to be um, the thing that I'm talking about here. So I start by writing cout.setf to set a flag, ios colon colon fixed, that means I want to control the digits after the decimal place. And then the second command that I use is called precision. And this is where I specify how many places I want to show. So let's say I want this total to represent money. Then I'll want two decimal places. Um, if there's additional numbers, so this is 0.678, it will round to accommodate the leftover digits. So when I display this, it should show a 6568. Let's see if that's right. On this guy. Yes, 6568. So it rounded up. Um, what you should know about these two lines is that once you set them, they stay set until you change them. Um, so even if I print another number as a literal, it should still show two decimal places. Let me actually put an MDL in here so you can see the second number separate from the first. Yes, yeah, so I'm still showing two decimal places. So that will stay set um, until you unset it. Uh, the other thing you should be aware of is once you have this guy set, if you for some reason want to control and set different precisions, you don't have to write both lines again. So if I want this one to show with two decimal places and this one to show with three, I can just edit the precision part of that. And the fixed um, control will still stay on. Now one common mistake is if you are using this and you forget this first part of it, so let me comment it out so it's not at play. Let's see what happens. So my number is still 65.678. I've set the precision to 2. Let's see what displays if I've left off the fixed flag being set. Uh, it's 66. So that's interesting. Um, what it actually does, if you forget to put the fixed flag set, is that it controls the total number of digits at all that will be displayed. So that can get kind of weird. Um, it's not controlling decimal places. So in this particular example, it was showing 66. If I actually have a number um, that has more than two digits um, not in the decimal section, it will show in scientific notation now because it still just wants to display for me two digits. So that's what this is. If you ever see a number like this, 6.6 .6 e means times 10 to the third power. Um, so this can get weird. So if you want to actually control the number of decimal places, you must leave on this flag. And then when you run, it will work the way you think it should.